how to chill wine fast. In this video, I'll be showing you the four ways of chilling wine fast. And you're gonna wanna stick around to the end because I'll share with you my secret ninja trick for chilling a bottle of wine in under four minutes. I'll give you a clue. Number one, a pot of water and ice and a cup of kosher salt method. In a large kitchen pot big enough to immerse a whole bottle of wine, we're going to add a full bag of ice. This is the, the method that most pros use. This is something that is pretty traditional. It's going to be the cleanest of the three. Next, we're going to add some water. The mixture here is about 75% ice to 25% water. Then we're going to be adding our kosher salt, about a cup worth. The salt actually prevents the ice from melting and keeps it much colder than just the ice on its own. The idea here is to fully immerse our bottle of wine. Now the temperature we're going for here is the ideal white temperature of 49 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the keys to making this a success as well is giving the bottle the occasional turn. You could flip it over and you can move it around a little bit. All in all, this should take about seven minutes if done properly. And there we go, 49 degrees Fahrenheit, boom. And when you add the salt, you can reuse this mixture for about another 30, 40 minutes. Number two, a bottle on ice in the freezer. I like this method a lot. It's a little less wet than the first method. We're simply gonna lay a bag of ice in the freezer and put our bottle on top of it. Halfway through, we're going to turn it and chill the other side. This should take a total of 15 to 20 minutes. The trick here, the big trick here, is to set a timer because we don't want to have a slushy in the freezer. Number three, floating things in your glass. Take your choice of frozen whiskey stones or frozen common household grapes. Either one actually take about five hours to freeze, but the idea is that you have these here on hand. Now, the frozen whiskey stones are 100% sandstone. Both of these items are great because unlike ice cubes, they don't melt and they don't emit any sort of flavor. They're odorless and flavorless. Uh, you simply plop them in just like ice cubes. The main benefit of the grapes over the whiskey stones is of course you can eat the grapes afterwards where you can't eat those whiskey stones. Number four, the ultimate wine chilling method in under four minutes. Think outside the bottle. Wine bottles are very poor thermal conductors. So what we're gonna do here is actually remove the wine and put it directly into a one gallon Ziploc plastic bag. You could actually hold five whole 750 milliliter bottles in this one gallon bag. Simply remove as much air as you possibly can from the bag and zip it shut. Next, we're heading to our trusty freezer and placing that right on top of a bag of ice. For about two minutes, we're gonna set our timer. Then all we're gonna do is move it around, flip it on the other side, and leave it in for at least another two minutes. Okay, so you may not want to pour it directly from the bag into the glass, although the bag is very accurate the way it pours. What I recommend doing is pouring it right back into the bottle, and no one would know the difference. And there you have it, chilled wine in under four minutes. Did you have a favorite method of chilling today? I know that I did. I'd love to hear your comment below, which was your favorite. Speaking of chilling, in the next video, I'll be sharing with you what I store in my wine cooler that's not wine. So you're going to want to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that one. Salute, here's to things floating in your glass. Cheers. I'm going to chill.